What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos United, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos Unidos, on here with a new video for you guys to enjoy. Well, today's video is going to be about a TV station that once existed in Oakland, California, my hometown, <coughs> called So Beat. <coughs> and So Beat was a black-owned TV station that once existed. And this being February, Black History Month, I want to dedicate this video to Soul Beat and the memories a lot of us have of Soul Beat. So we're going to talk about the history of Soul Beat, what it was, why it existed, etc. Now, like I said, Soul Beat was a black-owned TV station that once existed in Oakland, California. And it was created by this man here, Chuck Johnson. And we'll talk a little bit about Chuck Johnson and why he created Soul Beat. But Soul Beat, for many of us, you know, was a TV station that was a black-owned TV station. You know, they used to be on Channel 29, I believe, on cable. I could be wrong, but I believe it was Channel 29. And it started in 1978. And, uh, you know, Oakland at that time had a, a, a large black population. And, um, you know, um, a lot of African-American uh, innovators came out of Oakland. A lot of artists, a lot of politicians, etc. And, uh, you know, it only fit well to have something like Soul Beat exist in Oakland. So who was Chuck Johnson? Chuck Johnson was originally from the Midwest, from Kansas City, and he had been a DJ. And he had traveled around the United States, and he ended up in Hollywood. He actually produced a few movies. <clears throat> I think Dolomite, which was one of the old African-American exploitation movies. I think he, he, he took part in that. In 1977, which was the same year I was born, he ended up coming to Oakland. And he created Soul Beat in 1978. And um, according to a, a video I seen on um, on IG Soul Beat Memorial uh, IG thing they have, he was talking about in an interview, an old interview that um, he started on Coffee Twenty, which many of you might know that TV station. It's a famous Bay Area TV station. And he said that back then it was a Spanish TV station. A lot of people don't know that. My parents used to tell me about that. And he said in that interview that <clears throat> he started doing um, a show for like an hour or two on a Spanish TV station showing black programming. And eventually it became the bigger Soul Beat. Now Soul Beat, um, you know, was an innovative channel because it had um, a lot of, uh, it, it showcased a lot of uh, local artists, a lot of local musicians, you know what I mean? It was one of the first TV stations I learned to show music videos, you know, before MTV, before BET. Yes, it started right here in Oakland with Soul Beat. Um, also, I heard, I didn't know this, Detroit also had a Soul Beat network that was owned by Chuck Johnson as well. And, um, you know, there was a host of TV shows. There was um, a host of characters, people that came on Soul Beat, uh, the low-budget commercials that many of us remember from Soul Beat. You know what I mean? And we'll talk about some of the shows and people that came on the channel. So some of you might remember the Bong Show. <clears throat> if I remember right, it was hosted by Al Ballard. And the Bong Show was basically like a talent show. People would come on there dancing, rapping, singing, doing comedy. And if they weren't popular, they would be bonged off the show. <clears throat> and uh, it was kind of like an Oakland version of the Gong Show, which is an old school TV show. You know what I mean? And I'm sure a lot of you remember the Bong Show. We used to watch it and laugh all the time because people would, you know, make dummies out of themselves on the show. Um, but, yeah, the Bong Show with Al Ballard was one of them. I also remember <clears throat> Billy Jones. He used to do the night talk with Jones. And also he would um, he would also uh, do music videos as well. And, um, you know, I remember people used to prank call him all the time because they used to have calling shows. You know what I mean? Also, I remember Lunell, the comedian Lunell, used to be on, on Soul Beat back in the days. Um, this is her on a commercial, but I remember she would do different programming on the on the TV station back then. And that's the comedian Lunell, I'm sure. A lot of you probably know who she is. You know, and like I said, on uh, Soul Beat, a lot of, they, they showcased a lot of West Coast rappers. Because at the time, this is when, when, you know, West Coast rap wasn't really looked upon as a thing. Rap was still considered an East Coast thing. And so we showed a lot of love to Bay Area and West Coast rappers. This is too short. I mean, the, the Easy e and Chuck Johnson, you know, he's interviewing them. And, uh, you know, I seen uh, Too Short 
on there for the first time. You know, life is too short and I ain't tripping. First time I ever seen MC Hammer was on, on, on Soul Beat, the, the Let's Get It Started video where he used to be dancing in his troop outfit. That was the first time I ever heard of MC Hammer. I remember that song, Pump It Up, Louder. You know, they used to play that video all the time. I remember MC Ant used to be on, on uh, Soul Beat. Tony, Tony, Tony. Um, you know, Dangerous Game. Uh, the Loonies, MC Pooh, Drew Down, Seagram, just to name a few. Digital Underground also early on came on there. You know what I mean? And a lot of artists that came on uh, uh, Soul Beat, they didn't get their fair play on other channels, including NWA, Compton's Most Wanted, and many LA groups as well. You know, and also groups just in general. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Soul Beat helped showcase a lot of Bay Area rappers music videos that a lot of us wouldn't have known, you feel me? Um, another personality I remember on Soul Beat was Night Dog. I'm sure you guys remember him. He was an old dude. He used to have a call-in show, and people used to call in and roast them and prank call them and just say all kinds of dumb things. I remember Night Dog at night. I seen him a few times back in the days, and it was just like, wow, <laughs> they just trolled this dude. It was messed up. But um, also another dude that I remember on Soul Beat was this dude right here. That was Gary Baca, or the G-Spot, as he was known back then. You feel me? Um, he was a Chicano, one of the few Chicanos on Soul Beat, and he was best known for being on the documentary Children of Violence. You know, he was from the 60s, an OG, old veterano, you feel me, that became a DJ, the G-Spot. You know, he was a dude that said local Ferrigno on the documentary, and if you can see, that's a... Uh, that's the East Mall Mall. You can see the old four-star theater in the background back there. I remember going there as a kid to watch movies. You know, those of you who remember, uh, who remember. And that's right there. Gary Baca interviewing Lenny Williams of Tower of Power on, uh, on Soul Beat. So yeah, man, you know, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of people got their start on Soul Beat, including Gary Baca. I remember also the underground low budget commercials they used to show. You know what I mean? They used to show different commercials like, um, like Beaker City and uh, Harpoots and, and different things like that, and uh, there's there's Digital Underground early on on uh, on uh, on um, Soul B. There's a uh, Money B who's from <clears throat> Raw Fusion and Digital Underground as well, and so many others. You know what I mean? Like I said, I've seen so many music videos on Soul B. You know, Oscari X. You know, and Vogue. Um, you know, Seagram. Uh, the loonies and, and so many others, you know, that used to come on Soul Beat back in the days, you know, they wouldn't have been shown on other channels, you feel me? <laughs> and like I said, the, the low budget commercials, I remember the Beeper City, I remember Harpoots, I remember West Coast Furniture in West Oakland. My parents actually bought some stuff from West Coast Furniture back in the days. I remember a whole bunch of like soul food commercials. Uh, Aquanet was one I can remember. They, they used to show in the Deep East, it was like some fish restaurant. You know, they used to show, uh, you know, local furniture stores like Clay Furniture, West Coast Furniture. Um, they used to show video stores. Mama Rosa's Pizza on High Street. I'm sure you remember the commercial for that. You know, and different things. You know, so be, like I said, it was a black-owned TV station. It was a very innovative station in Oakland. And, um, you know, unfortunately, Chuck Johnson passed away in 2004, uh, the TV station itself went, went off the air in 2003, I believe, and, you know, a lot of, a lot of problems had happened, there had been a lot of money issues, uh, you know, things not being ran right, and unfortunately, uh, Soul Beat had its demise in 2003, it went off the air forever, and, um, you know, just the memory stay of Soul Beat that many of us had, and Chuck Johnson, like I said, passed away in 2000. Four, you know what I mean, and you know that was a big legacy of Oakland's history lost right there. And uh, like I said, man, even though it was a black-owned TV station, a lot of us Chicanos and Latinos, man, we used to eat it up. We used to watch it all the time. So best believe we was watching too, especially the music videos because we used to love Too Short and MC Hammer and and Tony Tony Tone and MC Ant and all the other rappers they would showcase on there. Now there's a dude named uh, Charles Chuck Johnson who's running um the IG, uh, Soul Beat Memorial IG, and uh, be sure to check it out and follow him, I follow him, 
And I'll leave a link to the to, to that on the video. But yeah, man, Soul Beat. You know what I mean? Who remembers Soul Beat? Come on, man. If you're from the town and you grew up in the 80s and 90s or early 2000s, I know you remember Soul Beat, man, back in the days. You feel me? Leave it in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. And like always, this whole said, bringing you them Oakland memories over and out later.